Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Chances are your doctor does not know your pharmacist. And they wouldn't be allowed to discuss a lot about your health even if they did know each other, but could that change? And then what would that mean for you? Seth Kaplan joins us with our top story. Seth. Alicia and Valerie, the answer to that is yes, according to two of the biggest health care companies in the mid-state. We're talking about the pharmacy train Rite Aid, one's homes in Camp Hill and recently relocated to Philadelphia and well spanned with its hospitals and medical practices throughout much of the viewing area, all, all the counties over there in blue. Well, it turns out there are 100,000 well spanned patients who have their prescriptions filled at Rite Aid. And we know that the average uh, Rite Aid pharmacist sees those patients uh, almost seven times a year. Jeffrey Nicholson, WellSpan Senior Vice President of Patient Health. Seven times, that's a lot more than most of us see our primary care doctors. Uh, you know, those are, those are uh, seven touches that uh, simply uh, WellSpan couldn't do uh, without the partnership. Between the two companies, the idea? Today, uh, the interaction uh, between a patient uh, and their provider and a patient and their pharmacist are often separated. More specifically, in today's model, um, the pharmacist isn't always aware of the other care gaps uh, that a patient may have. Uh, the physician isn't always aware of the conversation that occurs between the patient and their pharmacist. But eventually, let's say a pharmacist realizes you should see a doctor. They might be able to do more than just tell you to go to the doctor. So that could look like a patient getting a scheduled into a service. Uh, while being uh, in a Rite Aid uh, store, as an example. It could be something acute that needs urgent attention or something less urgent, but just as important and preventative. Wellness, uh, immunizations, uh, closing care gaps in preventative screening, uh, things like um, uh, mammograms and colonoscopies. One key question in a world of hacks and stolen identities, doesn't all this data sharing create a new risk? Nicholson's answer? Uh, the two organizations, both as covered entities, are working very, very closely together uh, to make sure that we're only sharing data uh, which could advance uh, the, the benefit of the patient, the healthy outcomes of the patient. And he said, if you're still not okay with that, you'll be able to opt out. So keep that in mind for when this starts in the next few months. I asked him, let's be honest, the point of this is also for Rite Aid and WellSpan to be able to be more attractive to customers and make more money, right? He said, sure. But they think they'll do that by keeping people healthier. Alicia. All right, Seth. Hey, thanks so much.